Hi, my name is Lori Haas. My daughter Emily was shot twice in the back of the head and survived at Virginia Tech, 10.38 on the morning of April 16th. I got a phone call from Emily. Um, I answered my phone and she said, Hi, Mommy, I've been shot. It was just horrific news and devastating news and uh, sent our family down a path of recovery that is, you know, difficult to describe. The layers in a, in a mass shooting aftermath are, are just immense. Um, but we were so grateful, so grateful to hear from Emily and so grateful to that EMT for having her call us. Um, we got in our car within minutes and started the three-hour drive to Blacksburg all the while listening to the radio as the body count rose and rose and rose and just sobbing and crying and praying the whole way and I remember having the distinct thought over and over and over again and flash in front of my head and heart and mind I'm going to pick up Emily and there are 32 other sets of parents going to pick up their dead children we make it so easy for dangerous people to get their hands on firearms and then go out in our communities, hurt people, kill people, destroy families, destroy neighborhoods, destroy schools. You know, we allow this to happen. This is, you know, 2013 in the United States of America, supposedly the greatest country in the world, and we have the highest firearm death rate. Who are we? What are our, where are our values and where, where is our action, you know, to support those values? We've just got to do a better job. And I think access to firearms is the key. We have got to do a background check on every buyer. Please join me. Speak up. Let your voice be heard, along with mine and so many others. We can get gun legislation passed to save lives. We have got to stop the gun violence in this country. Please let your voices be heard.